There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Waste to unlike these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. Not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Now, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one. Even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast, it's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> the only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. <laughs> Not quite as good, huh? Hey, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> well, give it a try. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. The building across from us with the garage door? There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. All right, go. Inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he 
He's probably greener than you. The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Uh, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. He is a vampire, so be ready. Go get him. That sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Sabat are going all out. You better head underground, avoid straight bullets. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here and come to an elevator around the way. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh man, I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it'll take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still. A kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. <laughs>
us like that and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Until the next night when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all that and so on and so on and so on. Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. I guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>